Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. This is Bunny Vulture. It's uh, been a while since I've recorded a video. I've been crazy busy at work uh, doing quite a few different things and whatnot, and I haven't been able to record a uh, at least a, a, a somewhat structured video of Monster. Uh, so that's why one hasn't been put out for that. Uh, I have a couple things in mind. I want to do some stuff, uh, some big B production, um, and, a, and a couple other things. And I want to get all that sorted out before I, you know, kind of make a video because I got, you know, a lot of background stuff to do. I just really haven't had time to get on the server uh, to do that. Uh, but what I have had time to do kind of on and off again is to start something new. Uh, and I've done a little bit of stuff. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the work has been done by my friends. Um, as you can see here, this is not Monster. This is something completely different. Uh, if any of you are familiar with the mod Magic Farm 2, uh, this may look somewhat familiar, although this doesn't, you know, this is pretty much the same looks as uh, pretty much any other standard thing. But uh, as you can see there on the map, there's a few different uh colored creepers well there was one um but uh yeah we kind of started up a, a magic farm 2 server uh in addition to the monster server they got uh, my friends kind of got a little overwhelmed by monster or maybe not over necessarily overwhelmed but uh, things kind of became too easy uh especially in, in the regard of resources uh when we kind of got to the amount of resources that uh that we had uh, you know like the you know the million cobble and thousands upon thousands of resources it's pretty much a creative world at that point um, you really don't have to work for anything uh, it's just a matter of building crazy big things which is fine uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on that I will probably convert the server over to a single player world and continue that way that way I can uh, put more resources towards my magic farm server here and move forward forward with um, this for the multiplayer portion. So that's probably what we're gonna do. Um, so to kind of give you an overworld, of, if you don't know anything about Magic Farm, uh, it's a really cool mod, uh, um, kind of overseen by Jaded Cat of the FTB team, and it's uh, it's different. It's a uh, it's more of a hardcore type mat FTB mod. Uh, hunger uh, is a big thing that there's a hunger overhaul system where your uh, your food bar there uh, depletes quite a bit faster uh, one thing you notice in monster um, you've probably seen that if you have food you, you have a good stack of food that'll last you for I don't know ever I think I've been on the same thing of steak for quite a bit of time I've already gone through I don't know in this last few days of playing on and off and, and not for long periods of time, probably 20 stacks of food. Uh, granted, it's bread, but still, 20 stacks of food is 20 stacks of food. Uh, quite a bit of time. And uh, when you, as soon as you reach no health, as soon as you reach no health, uh, you don't start losing hunger. You die. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, one of the other big changes is when you start out, uh, there is no wooden pick. Like you can click on this. Yeah, can't make that. Stone pick. Nope, can't make that either. Uh, the first pick you can, you know, metal pick you can make is an iron pick. Um, but you won't want to start with that. You'll actually start with uh, flint, a flint pick. And you can see here, it's got the uh, iguana tweaks for Tinker's Construct. And that means your, I think that mod enables your weapons and uh, your tools and whatnot to level. Uh, as you can see here on my pick. Uh, XP, your uh, weapons gain experience just like you do, um, and you start off with zero, and as you use it, it gains experience, and uh, every time you reach 100%, it gains an ability. Uh, when I first started this pick, uh, this is a manual and pick, um, it started out, I think it got auto repair on it first, and then it got two levels of reinforced, and then it did, I think, the fortune, and then the haste, I believe. Um, and then I got also a uh, a sword. Uh, that's what kind of sword did I make with this? I think it's this is just like a copper sword or something like that. Uh, copper broadsword leveled this up. Uh, got you know, smite on it, then auto repair, looting, life steal, whatnot. And I also made a cutlass, uh, auto repair, sharpness, life steal too. Uh, I also made a um, 
al alumite, uh, silky touch, uh, silk touch pick, something just real basic and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, we've kind of been starting on this. As you can see here, we got a few. You know, we, this is our head collection from I think us dying or killing accidentally killing each other. Uh, some creeper and blaze heads and whatnot from killing everything that we've uh, been going around. Looks like uh, last time I was on, we were only to about here. Looks like so several other people been on and collecting a quite a few more heads there. Um, one thing we have added, or rather I added to the server, were a couple things, primarily something that I really wanted in Monster, and that was Carpenter's Blocks. I really, really wish this would have been added to Monster. I would have had a lot of fun, um, or more fun, I would say building the castle and also my starter house, but that's alright. Uh, it had chisel in it, which is a really cool mod too. I, I really like that one with the additional blocks. And I actually tried to add chisel to this as well, but I couldn't get it to work. I believe there was some sort of uh, ID conflicts that I couldn't find out. I was going through the, the logs, and I, I'm not really good at... I mean, I can, I can find certain errors in starting up and combining different mods together, um, but I couldn't figure this one out. And... Uh, my friends kind of wanted to, you know, get it going. We hadn't played on the on the monster server for a bit, and we were kind of tired of the. Um, I actually had a vanilla. I started a vanilla server up as well, uh, for some um, some family members for so, so for some of the kids in the family, and went out so they could all play together. So we kind of played with them for a little bit um, on the vanilla server, kind of getting everything kind of started. Um, so we kind of made little a little village, and I made another hub. Um, for a little bit, so that's kind of why the videos have kind of been spaced out, uh, probably about a week, because, you know, I've had some, uh, you know, playing with the family, you know, playing with the kids and the family, and really busy with work, and adjusting some things on the, uh, Minecraft side, a server side, and which ones we're going to go with, to kind of, you know, spruce things up a bit, because some, you know, some of the mods have been changing up. Uh, a lot of the mod makers have kind of stopped putting out some updates, because they've been working on 1.7, uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and move forward. I'm going to move forward with my single player monster and also probably start up uh, some multiplayer magic farm, perhaps. Uh, if you want to see more of that, we've had quite a little bit of fun so far in the little time we've been on. So might be doing some of that. So uh, Miss Deep Seizure uh, built this place. It's got the little down farm, uh, underground farm with some all the different crops and trees. Um, I built the smeltery and a little bit of power th stuff over here. Um, not too much go stuff going on here, just the basic smeltery, nothing fancy. Uh, I also started Thumbcraft just enough to get uh, my goggles, just so I can see some nodes and start that stuff going. Um, oh, oh, speaking of uh, other mods that I've added, uh, in addition to carpentry blocks, blocks, yeah, I added something else fun: hats. And I thought this would be a cool mod to, uh, to add in to kind of, you know, make a little, you know, a mod a little bit more fun instead of just, you know, all about collecting resources and making big power machines and whatnot. I thought it might be kind of, you know, interesting to get other stuff. So I've collected quite a little few little hats here. Uh, I think my favorite so far, if I can find it, um, Dalek hat. I'm kind of amused by that. I thought it might look a little bit better, but that's still kind of cool. I'm not sure what this is from. Okay, one of the, one of the guy. One of the, I think Deep Seizer asked me about this one, but I wasn't quite sure what that's from. Uh, but that's my favorite. <laughs> my Lego hat. I am a big Lego fan, and I will wear my Lego hat proudly. Uh, the other hat, uh, there are the other hat. Uh, the other mod I add was something from uh, that I've seen Direwolf play around with on his uh, the Direwolf 20 pack is Morph, and we did this primarily again. Is it's more of a, it's not so much. It doesn't really give you anything, sorta. It, it allows you to transform into different creatures. Some are advantageous, some are not. Um, some, you, some people might say are a little over, overpowered or, you know, or whatnot, or a little cheaty. Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm alright with that. Um, Silverfish was the first thing I came across and killed that, which allows you to essentially transform into a silverfish. I was able to have much fun with that and scare, scare my friends off right off the bat, because, 
Uh, I was I encountered this first, and no one knew about it yet. So I transformed into this and started dancing around them. And Miss um, Deep Seizure Deep kind of screamed a little bit, and I kind of died <laughs> because of it because they started attacking me. Um, so that was a little fun, but it was well worth it. Uh, probably should have been recording that one. Um, I also got, you know, your standard zombie, giant zombie. You know, this, these are the special mobs that are in this pack. Uh, plague zombie, fire zombie, and whatnot. So I can't transform into those. Uh, I can transform into the other ones, though. So, like, angry zombie, I can transform into that. Um, angry zombie with, you know, a Lego head. Um, but the other ones I can't go into, you know, thalmic slime, cow, pig, creeper, uh, bat, squid, doom, I don't know, doom, can I transform into, no, I can't go into a doom, doom creeper. Uh, the other really cool one that I came across, oh, actually, this is, oh, I can't do that, I thought I could do that. That was really amusing. Oh, yeah, now I can. Yeah. Giant spider with a Lego head, the Lego head being huge. I thought this was kind of funny, too. I'll do my, that'll be my thumbnail. <laughs> um, but yeah, I also got Wisp, uh, and a few other things. Gas, I won't transform into that because I think I will die and suffocate. Uh, Blaze, Firebat, so I got quite a bit of things on here. I also got, oh, where is it? Oh yeah, Zombie Cat. I actually, I, I also accidentally killed her. So now, I can transform into her. <laughs> Uh, that was funny, I, I, you know, because she was transformed into something else, so I transformed into her. And she was like, hey, no fair, you, you don't get to be me. Uh, anyway, uh, I will transform into Wisp, because that's one of the forms I've been using a little bit lately, simply because it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Now, wait a minute, now I can't transform out of this. That's no good. Let's go back to me. And then let's go to... Hmm. Why can I not change? Why you no work? Fire bat? No, I don't want to be a fire bat. I would, but you know the smoke is rather annoying. There we go. Now I'm a wisp. So as you notice, you can fly with this. That might be a little overpowered or whatnot, but hey, I'm fine with that. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Hmm, am I stuck? No, I'm not stuck. Um, anyway, so yeah, those are the couple little mobs that I added. Whoa. Interesting. Is he attacking me? Rare striking. Uh, let's see if I can kill him. I want some water, I think. Whoa. He's one of them teleporting boys. He's gone. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, there's not too much stuff going on in that regard. Uh, let me show you some of the other stuff that we got going on that I can show you uh, while I am a wisp. Uh, Mr. Deep Seizure has been going on and recreating kind of a little dwarven compound that we got down here. Let me show you that. I could speed up just a little bit more. Wish there was a, a fast form. So down here, I'm not sure what he's doing down here, but he's cleared out a huge area. Oh, I will kill you. Party hat. Give me your slime balls. Uh, so yeah, he's cleared out quite a little bit of stuff. Not sure what he's doing down here. Yeah, let's take you to where my aunt, well, let's see, um, 
I gotta go over to where my wife is, so let me take a little cut right here and I'll meet you right over there. All right, guys, we are back and we are in my wife's little bureau mid, as we call it. Um, we have used the uh, carpenter's blocks to build this. And as you can see there, it's pretty cool. Slanted, slanted walls, pretty awesome. Uh, so what we've done with that is we just, uh, uh, we, we've made these carpenter wedge slopes, right? This, just like some sticks and some carpenter's blocks and you make carpenter's blocks with a plank and then some sticks around it. Uh, and like that, you put them down and then you can apply a texture to them. And then we have applied the glass texture to them. And then also the little, uh, wedge slopes here. I've applied the glowstone texture for light. Uh, so yeah, kind of a neat little area for her that she's uh, working on with Mrs. Deep Seager. Um, they're doing some uh, bee breeding and some food and, um, you know, other hot dog pigs and <laughs> whatnot. Uh, they're out here in the plains somewhere, so about a thousand blocks away. Um, and then I've also got their power set up. Uh, I've got a nether pump, an endothermic pump in the nether, uh, pumping here into a lava drum, and then I got down here, if I can get down here, um, I got another drum over here, kind of active as like, as like a pass-through, and then that is feeding uh, five magmatic dynamos going into hardened energy conduits that go into some cells underneath each individual machine. Um, and then, uh, over here, I can show you, let's, uh, put you back. And, uh, each of these little cells has a, uh, a lever on it to control the power. So, because these forestry machines discontinue using power even when they're not doing anything. So, in order to conserve power, uh, which is a little bit harder to get, or rather, I'd say a lot harder to get comparatively to, mo to Monster um, here in Magic Farm, uh, I wanted to make sure that only machines that you need that she needs to use are being used. Uh, and then there's a master power switch here that's indicated with a redstone lamp that is on. Uh, so the, the power is being provided to each of these individual cells when that's flipped on. Um, and then each of these machines has an individual state. Uh, so the squeezer right here, if I were to flip that guy on, this thing would start getting power and start processing the seeds into the seed oil, um, which is going into this drum and then filtering down into the carpenter for that stuff. Um, and then we also have a gene pool over here uh, for the bees to make the bean A that will flow into these guys right here. Uh, and this guy is still losing power from earlier because I accidentally had that configured wrong. Uh, we are missing the something machine, the machine that... Oh, I think it's the inoculator, I think it is. Yeah, the one, the, the machine that inputs genes into BNAs. We're missing that one because we haven't made the Imperial B yet. Or rather, she hasn't because I don't know how to do any of that stuff. I've, I used Gendistry in the last, in the in Monster and made all my bees. But we don't have Gendistry in this. So we're kind of keeping this one a little bit more challenging. Uh, other than the few little mods that I've added uh, for aesthetics and fun, uh, I haven't added any other mods to make things easier. Uh, really, the only tech mod that we have, well, I, I, you know, I should say Mine Factory Reloaded is in here too, uh, along with Thermal Expansion. And I guess this is techie, uh, the forestry stuff. Uh, and, if, you know, there's Slomcraft for Magic, but there's not a whole lot of stuff here to provide power. I think it's pretty much Thermal Expansion. Uh, there's no industrial craft, no build craft, uh, so there's no quarry, although there is extra utility, so that, you know, we do have ender quarries at our disposal if we could, you know, provide enough power for it. Um, but yeah, this is uh, turning out to be pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to bring some uh, little multiplayer episodes once we get everyone back on. Uh, it's kind of late here in the day, but I wanted to get something up to you guys and kind of give you an update of what was going on with me and to kind of let you know that I am still making videos. I haven't just, you know, fallen off the face of the earth. Uh, I'm going to try and get a monster episode out as soon as I can. Uh, but like I said, I wanted to get some infrastructure in place for the bees uh, so that I can kind of show you something cool. Uh, I got an idea of what I'm going to be making uh, with some of the bees I want and kind of, I don't, you know, I don't need more power. I don't need any resources, but 
being at the kind of the end game in, in Monster, now is at the point where I'm kind of just going to be exploring various things that we can do. Uh, so yeah. Anyway guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed my little quick little overview tour of our Magic Farm 2 server. Um, hopefully I'll bring you some multiplayer fun here in the future. Until that time, see you later guys.